What up, it's your girl Mena, and welcome to my channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe. My name is Mena, not Mina, it's Mena. And today I wanna share with you all of my foundations. I don't have very many, which is a good thing because I don't like to hoard. I don't like to hoard, but you know, as time goes by, I'll be adding more to this collection. It's not very much. You'll notice that the majority of my foundations are from the drugstore. I just am a fan of being able to go and pick up eggs and makeup at the same time. Like you can't beat it. I do love a good high-end foundation, don't get me wrong. However, I just have a lot of affordable makeup. So let me show you what I've got and what color I am in these. I'm gonna break down what the finish is of these foundations as well. First is the Maybelline Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. I like this foundation a whole lot. Matte velvety finish. I've never worn, well I have actually worn my makeup 24 hours on accident just while traveling. So not like, you know, anyway. I do like this foundation a whole lot and I got the color deep bronze. I do wear truffle and I used to have truffle but when I went to the store I saw that they had expensive their shades. I was at Walmart getting groceries and I saw that they had expanded their shades so I grabbed deep bronze and I like it a lot because it's a little bit darker than my skin tone but once you highlight it really does bring the color back to the face like it just looks really really good and I knew that I was going to use this into the summertime so this will still work for me in the summer. And then next is the Juvia's Place I Am Magic Velvet Matte Foundation. This foundation girl <laughs> you literally only need like that much and it spreads all over the face very very full coverage doesn't feel like I'm wearing a powder cake or a layer of frosting very matte I mean when I say matte on any of these foundations my natural skin oils still peek through and that's normal and you actually want that to happen I don't want my face to be like charcoal but I do want it to have a matte finish so actually if, if you're wondering right now I'm wearing the Maybelline Superstay but I do love to wear this in the summertime when my skin is darker my color is Angola but now it's, it's still hot in Houston but I'm not, I haven't gotten a tan yet I'm wearing Togo and Togo is a little red but it still works once I put everything together. I've recently got the NYX Born to Glow because y'all told me to get it and I don't like hydrating dewy foundations but I got this and I'm really glad I did because on some days where I'm feeling a little dry this is perfect because then I don't want to do a mattifying foundation. You do know that your skin and your foundation like react to the weather as well so you have to pay attention to what the weather is outside and then you know act accordingly honestly because otherwise I feel uncomfortable if it's cooler outside, no sun, and I have on high power matte foundation. I just feel very uncomfortable. If you want a video of breaking down what I mean by that, then make sure you comment and let me know. But this color I'm wearing is, not now, but in this foundation, I have cocoa. I grabbed this while getting groceries, and obviously at Walmart you can't do a test, so I make this work. It is a little red, but I do make this work. Like I've just learned how to make certain foundations work. Is it my perfect match? No, but does it work for me? Yes. These are two CoverGirl foundations that I haven't worn in a very long time. This one is isn't full coverage though. I would say it's medium coverage for me because I have dark spots on my chin. So for somebody else, if you have really clear skin without any pigmentation issues, then this could be full coverage for you. But on me, it's medium. This is a matte ambition all day shine free foundation. I do like it though. My color is deep golden. I love the powder foundation in this line as well. Like love it. Recently bought some more because I just like it that much. My cool weather color in the True Blend foundation is D70. Although when it gets hot outside in the summertime, I wear D80. You do know that you need to have an, a different one than you have in the winter time, right? Like you do realize that. You do know that, right? You've been warned. <laughs> I mean, say no more, okay? NYX can't stop, won't stop. Full high power matte situation. Love it so much. Um, this is the color Deep Cool. When I first got it, I thought it was too dark for me. Sorry, in the summertime, this thing goes hard. I love it, but I still rock it in the winter time. I make it work. I like it a lot. It is so, so beautiful. The finish is amazing. Ugh. Like the minute you put it on, you feel dry. Like on hot days, why not? On hot days, you want that. You pair this with the, the mattifying primer, girl, please, no questions, okay? This I've had for some time. I gotta shake it up a little bit. NYX Total Drop, and I even have the primer that goes with it. This is the color Deep Cool. Interestingly enough, I used to feel like my undertone was red, but I've learned that I'm more cool because red be looking too much on me. It's annoying. So like cool neutral, that's where I am, and I feel most comfortable when I have foundations that are cool neutral. I can't stand the red. Oh, so I like this. I don't wear it often because I have others that I really love but I still like this NYX Total Drop and Total Control it has a dropper I always get the name wrong it has a dropper so I call it Total Drop but it's called Total Control you get me now this Becca 24 hour foundation has such a beautiful finish and it's full coverage the color though that I have is wrong this is the color cacao it came in my boxy charm so obviously I can't go change it and I make it work it is neutral it's got a pink undertone my under excuse me it's got a pink undertone my undertone is not pink we've discussed this already but I 
I make it work and it works like once you put your highlight concealer your powder and your contour it works but is it my color it's not so just so you know if you get a product that you cannot return you can sometimes make it work it just takes some finagling when I first put this on it always looks scary and it looks bad but when I finish the whole phase it's like oh okay we can actually work with this so we're not gonna get rid of it I love it so much it's just that the color is wrong this is like basically ran out but MAC Studio Fix Fluid when I first moved to Houston I was NW45 I've been here almost 10 years and now I wear NW50 I've gotten darker okay like I'm not NW45 at all and I used to wear NW35 Pro Longwear Concealer can you imagine NW35 wow that is light I'm nowhere near that right now but I I love this this is like the og matte just full coverage awesomeness foundation this is og for me i haven't re-upped on it i have not re-upped on it because i just can't bring myself to re-up on it quite yet when i can just get some great foundation options for so much cheaper i just haven't, haven't done it. and speaking of so much cheaper this i gotta shake it up a little bit this elf flawless finish foundation for six dollars haven't worn this since last summer simply because this is my ooh, it has a six month expiration. <laughs> well, this is this is really, really beautiful. The finish is amazing. It's oil free, has a satin finish, full coverage, and this color is mocha. It is very dark, so it is my summer color. Like when I'm outside and I have gotten a tan, you know, my black girl tan. Then I wear this one. I went a shade below and got the other one, but it is red. This is neutral, cool neutral. So I can't wear that red one, like absolutely not. But that's it. Those are all the foundations that I have and that I wear. If you have any of these, if you are my color match at all, comment and let me know. You know I'm sitting under lights, I'm sitting under LED lights. You might think that I look lighter than I actually am in real life, but I wanted to give you my colors and foundations in case you use me as a, as a shade reference. Now you know what foundations I have and what my colors are. So if you have any suggestions on foundations that I should get, let me know. If you have any other video suggestions like this to be like, you know, these are my blank, these are my blank, let me know as well. But as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.